Hello, today we will discuss the Bethesda system for reporting thyroid cytopathology. This is the part 1 of this video. Now, why did the Bethesda system for thyroid cytopathology was needed? It was needed so as to have a better clarity and better communication with the clinician and the pathologist. Uh, according to it, it is divided into six categories. The six, first category is non-diagnostic or unsatisfactory smears. If we aspirate only cyst fluid or the smear are virtually acellular or other obscuring blood or clotting artifacts are seen, it is non-diagnostic. Second is the benign category. In this benign follicular nodule, thyroiditis, these cases are put in second category. Third is ATP of undetermined significance or follicular lesion of undetermined significance. We will understand each category as I will discuss these individually. The fourth category is follicular neoplasm or suspicious of follicular neoplasm. In this category, uh, follicular adenoma, follicular carcinoma, these are put. But we should remember that these two cannot, cannot be differentiated on the cytology. And if hurdle cell type is present, if we find the majority of hurdle cell present, the uh, subcategory should be mentioned in uh, cytology report. Fifth is suspicious for malignancy. In this papillary carcinoma, medullary carcinoma, subtypes can even be given, even if we are suspicious. Uh, the sixth category is when we are sure that it is malignant. Uh, and in this also subcategories should be given. Now, what is the importance? Importance is that according to each diagnostic category, there is a risk of malignancy. And uh, advantage for the clinician is that it he has or she has a usual management approach for that category. The first is non-diagnostic or unsatisfactory. In this case, the risk of malignancy we can't say because we don't know which type of lesion is present. Therefore, repeat FNAC is done. Then benign, the clinical follow-up is done in this case. In third, as we have not no we don't know what is the significance of this category repeat fnac should be done fourth is follicular neoplasm or suspicious for follicular neoplasm that for that surgical lobectomy uh, and in a uh, fifth and sixth also categories mostly surgical treatment is done so what is the criteria for adequacy in the first category we understood that it is inadequate or non-diagnostic. We must know what is the adequate criteria. Adequate criteria is minimum of six groups of follicular cells with having 10 cells per group. Means six groups into 10 cells. We can remember it like that. And these cells should be well stained, undistorted, unobstructed. Exceptions to this rule are if the patient is of lymphocytic thyroiditis, thyroid abscess, granulomatous thyroiditis, in which we can only find inflammatory cells and in colloid nodules where abundant thick colloid is seen and this should be considered as adequate. Now going to the non-diagnostic, we understood that non-diagnostic is due to insufficient cellularity due to if only cyst fluid is present or even the cells are present but we can't make out because of poor fixation or preservation or poor staining the cells cannot be visualized that is also in non-diagnostic category now this picture shows the cyst fluid only cystic macrophages poor cell preservation these all are non-diagnostic and these need to be re-aspirated after three months, not before because of reactive and reparative changes which you can see and will give a false positive interpretation of various things. Now going to the second category that is benign. In this there are three subclassification. One is the other. The two are benign follicular nodule and thyroiditis. In benign follicular nodule, what is it? It is any sample which 
uh, when we evaluate, we see colloid and benign appearing follicular cells. These can be seen in variety of conditions like nodular goiter, adenomatoid nodule, colloid nodule, nodule in the case of Graves disease. These all come in this category. And the criteria for it is that it has adequate cellularity, the colloid is present, there is thick or thin colloid present, there are monolayered sheets of follicular cells there is no crowding there is monolayered sheets there is no nuclear atypia and uh, cytoplasmic granules can be present herdo cell can be present macrophages can be present these all define the category of benign follicular nodule even if we uh, don't tell the uh, particular subcategory whether it's graves disease nodular thyroiditis we can uh, give a broad category to the uh, smears. The second is thyroiditis. In the thyroiditis, we must understand that it, uh, it is hypercellular to adequately cellular smears. The lymphoid population is present. It can be polymorphic. It, uh, it can even be to the level of lymphoid follicles. Lymphohistocytic aggregates can be seen. Occasional plasma cells can be seen. And these can infiltrate the epithelial cell groups, the follicular cell groups. Uh, this also comes in the category number two. This is the picture which is showing the lymphocytes and follicular cells intermixed. Then granulomatous thyroiditis. I am not discussing each and every cytological feature. This is just to tell that this categories, these categories are going into benign second category. In this, there is variable cellularity. There are epithelioid histocytes present. There are granulomas present. And giant cells can be seen. This is a picture showing giant cell. Then going to acute thyroiditis. This also falls in the benign second category. In this, necrosis, macrophages, blood with numerous neutrophils and few uh, follicular cells can be seen. And readers thyroiditis, this uh, sometimes goes in the category of inadequate because in this it's mostly acellular and uh, colloid is not present, follicular cells are not present and therefore uh, after repeat FNAC and a clinical uh, uh, implication of thyroid, uh, readers thyroiditis, the diagnosis can be made because in this the thyroid gl gland has undergone progressive fibrosis therefore only collagen strands and bland spindle cells with a uh, presence of few in chronic inflammatory cells these are seen uh, this was the subcategory to benign we will discuss the further categories in the next video thank you do like and subscribe to my channel thank you